What's going on, Leo? My name is Vince. This is 70 Tarot. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from the universe and your affirmation for today. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you today. Wow, a lot of abundance. Right now, you got the uh, 10 of cups. Absolutely amazing. But you also got the five of wands. Source is telling you that you're putting too much pressure on yourself. It's causing resistance and will resist persists. If you relieve this pressure, you will clear this energy block and you will be handsomely rewarded. Something very, very abundant. V 10 of cups is one of the best cards you can possibly get. So right now, source is telling you, let go. You really let go through one way. Stop focusing on the outcome. Detach from the outcome. Whatever you're looking for, whatever that is event, right? Being rich, meeting my soulmate, getting pregnant, finding inner peace, that outcome, detach from it. Then you will get it. Like attracts like law of attraction, law of assumption, quantum physics, quantum entanglement has proven. And just think about this, right? Like if holding on to the outcome worked, why don't you have it yet? How come everyone doesn't have it, right? It does not work. The strategy is flawed, right? So what do you have to do? Detach from the outcome. You have to surrender and let go. Let go to release. Now, how do you let go to release? By taking your thoughts and awareness and putting it somewhere else. For example, you want to manifest your soulmate. You think about your soulmate. You visualize your soulmate. You tell the universe, universe, I'm ready to meet my soulmate. That's it. Detach from it now. Take your thoughts and go focus on your career, your friendship, your health, nature, outside, entertainment, anything. Read a book, go for a walk, anything. Stop thinking of where, who, what, when, how's my soulmate coming, when are they coming? That right there is preventing the universe from allowing the universe to do its job. And this is what 99.9% .9 of the people do. And this is why they don't have what they want. You have to detach. You notice every single time you detach from something, it worked every single time. When you're kind of like, ah, I'm done with this. It's like, I'm moving on. Boom, then you get it, right? Now, like, sit there and look for a text message. It's not going to come. The moment you put the phone down and go cook something, boom, it shows up, right? This is it. There's law of attraction stuff. You can't bend these rules, but you can sure play by it and win. Now, you got the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So right now, you are meant to have financial freedom. Source is telling you that you're meant to be rich. But the problem is, is that you're, you're, there's like some sort of money block here preventing you from getting this. And right now, it's only because you got to make your life simple. Right now, it is too complicated. Simplicity is the key to a tranquil life. And that's how you get what you're looking for. Simplicity is the key to a tranquil life. The universe wants you to make your life simple. Make everything in your life simple. For example, stop multitasking. One problem I used to have is like I would have my phone, my coffee, my man purse, my keys, everything in my hand when I tried getting out the car to save like a millisecond of time thinking I was winning in life. You know, this is like 10 years ago and I would drop stuff all the time. It was horrendous. It was so shameful. And then one day I said, you know what? I'm going to take an extra two seconds in the car and put my stuff away. And when I did this, now I never dropped anything again. This is just one way of how multitasking is not really where it's at, guys. As humans, we can't do it. Our brain can't comprehend it. It just can't do it. So right now, source is telling you, what are you doing in your life that you can make simple? How about rather than adding 50 ingredients to a meal, you keep it down to five? Right? Think about that. Like, do we, do we really need 28 different spices in our life to make one meal? Really, salt, pepper doesn't cut it, you know? So I'm, I'm just giving you simple examples of what you can do. Find stuff that makes your life simple. Maybe your, your schedule could be more simple. Maybe your relationships could be more simple. But so if you do this, you will get handsomely rewarded every time. Now you got the fool and the hang woman. So source is telling you to take the leap of faith and do not procrastinate or hesitate. You have a decision to make in your life right now. What is this decision and why are you waiting to make it? Most likely you're, you're fearful of making it because you're fearful of rejection or failure, right? This is the reason we don't do stuff. So imagine you want to date someone. You want to ask them out, but you're worried they're going to say no, or you want to start a business, but you're worried you're going to fail. That worrying prevents you from doing anything. Source is telling you this is the reason that you, you know, this is the culprit. So you got to understand, ask yourself this. If you never worried again, like imagine you didn't have an ego, right? You only had an ethical ego, which will help you, but not like a bad ego. And you never had fear. Where would you be in your life right now? 
Think of that. How many opportunities would you have seized? How many people, more people would you have asked on a date? How many more jobs would you have taken a leap of faith and just went for it? You would be bawling out of control, right? That's what source is telling you right now. Fear is the culprit. Fear is the enemy. Fear. So if fear is the enemy, art of war Sun Tzu, what do you do? The exact opposite of what your enemy wants. Enemy wants you to be paralyzed. You take action, right? Action trumps knowledge every single time. I repeat, action trumps knowledge every single time. You can know what to do in life, but unless you take action, it's useless. Imagine you have an idea of a product that you could put into production and make a million dollars a year from, but if you don't take action, what's the idea? It's worthless, right? So right now, take action is what Source is telling you. Now you got the tower and temperance. Your angels are telling you right now that there is some sort of shocking news coming. The shocking news may seem like a curse at first, but it's actually a blessing and they're bringing this news into your life. So right now, understand that when this shocking news comes, it's coming from your angels. Right now, courage is the gateway to freedom. Find courage in the moment. So for example, maybe your landlord is saying, yo, we're selling the house, you gotta move. And at that point, it's shocking news. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. But understand, this is a test to see how you react. If you react in a calm, cool manner, then you will find a house that's cheaper in rent, closer to work. But if you overreact, you're telling the universe, I could barely deal with this, so the universe will not give you more. Not because it hates you, the universe loves you, but because it realizes that you're not ready. So right now, this shocking news that's coming, it's a blessing and not a curse, and really look at it from that perspective. Now you have the three of pentacles and you have the king of wands. Source is telling you that there is a third party entering your life. This person is here to help you with your finances, but you have to see them for the value that they truly bring and don't put your guard up, right? And you can only do this by accepting the rhythm of life and knowing that Source bring, or has brought this person into your life. What does this mean? Right now, Source is bringing someone to help you, mentor you, guide you, teach you, invest in you, do something, right? But something happened before in the past where the universe is telling you that things did not go according to plan, so you have your guard up now. So rather than people give people the benefit of the doubt, you're kind of immediately thinking they're out to get you. They're gonna you take advantage of you some way, somehow. You can't put your guard up like that or else you're gonna miss this opportunity. One of my rules in life is I never cast the first stone, so I will never do someone else's harm, but if I see smoke, there's fire. So I always treat people with love and respect, right? But the moment I sense something is off, God gave you instincts for a reason, and at that point, that's when I will be careful. So obviously do your due diligence, but I do see here that you don't want to squander this moment, this opportunity. There is something big financially that's supposed to manifest for you. And right now to, to respond, but don't react. To respond, but don't react. And remember the past is beyond your control. So don't try to focus on that energy. Now you got the Ace of Pentacles and Justice. This is huge. So right now, this is the Law of Attraction card with Justice, right? Source is telling you right now, find joy in the simple things in life, and then the big financial opportunity will come into your life. Remember, this whole thing is a game. You're here on planet Earth learning lessons, and you're here on planet Earth accumulating data. Right now, Source is telling you to find the simple joy, the, the, the joy in simple things. Like for example, I like to go to coffee shops, order coffee, sit there, look at people. I like to smell the aroma in the air. I like to see people. I go there like at 6 a.m. when it opens. I like to see people People walk in, order their coffee first thing in the morning. You should see it. It's like little kids, you know, on Christmas Day. They are so happy and excited. If you ever want to raise your vibration, go look at people order coffee in the morning. They're just like, oh my goodness, how are you, Jim? How are you, Jill? Oh my goodness, they're so happy to get their coffee and a little breakfast sandwich. It lights up my heart. I love it. I love it. I love being in that energy. What's your simple joy, right? Maybe your simple joy is going for a walk. Maybe your simple joy is playing with your cat. Maybe your simple joy is anything. Find the joy in simple things. All right, Leo, now let's get to your affirmation for today. This is going to help clear any money blocks, love blocks, any energy blocks. Let's get that money, love, and abundance into your life. In the comment section, I want you to write down the following affirmation. Affirmation is effortless attention, easiest thing you'll do. Write down the following words. When you write this down in the comment section, as you type this out, I want you to feel the vibrations, the good luck, the good fortune, because when everyone's doing this as a collective, it amplifies and it's just insane amount of power, right? So write this down. Um, the universe loves me. Yes, it does. The universe loves me. The universe absolutely adores you. You're the universe's child. You are not alone. It absolutely adores you. The universe loves me. Write that down in the comment section. Let the universe know that you are ready. 
All right, now final message from the universe. Check this out. Give with gratitude and grace. Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. So right now, giving is going to give. You know, like, you know give as much as you can. It doesn't mean money. It means money or advice or, you know, a shoulder to lean on or lend a hand. But when you give, it's like a boomerang. It goes back and by the time it comes back, you get it back tenfold, right? So give with grace. Understand that it will come back. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.